hello welcome to engineer brandon's tools so today we are going to design an rs flip flop both with active high input and with active low input and we are going to run and see how it works so we are going to open our proteins so we are going to start with the rs flip flop with active low input we can see that we will need two NAND gates we will need logic state and logic pro So we we'll get our NAND gate. We need a logic state. So here is a logic pro and a logic state. So we are going to set S to be 0 and R to be 1 and observe the output to S0, R1. So we are going to level them first. Here is our cure output. And here is our not cure output. So when S is 0, R is 1. Let us observe the output. We will notice that output is 1. And the not output should be 0. As seen in the notes output 1 not output if output is 1 not output 0 normally then if if s is 1 and r is 0 let us observe our output s1 r0 so if our s is 1 our r is 0 our output will have to be a zero as seen from the node. Then if our output is zero, our not output will have to be a one. Now if S equals to one and R equals to one, we will notice that the output will not change. Output will be the same as the past output which was there. So we are going to change R to be one. We notice that output has not changed output remain at its past state so we are going to toggle both s and r to be zero and observe according to the notes when both s and r are at logic zero the output is forbidden so we are going to observe what that means so s zero r zero so we notice that our output is 1, then if output is 1, our not output is supposed to be 0, but it is not 0, it is still 1. So it means there is, an, there is a certain misunderstanding here, that is why we consider it as being forbidden. We don't use this case in implementing any electronic circuit. So we are going to design our 
RS flip flop with active high input now. So for the one of active high input, we will still need two NAND gate. But for the S and R input, we are going to invert both those two inputs using inverters. So I will need an inverter which is a NOT gate. I'm going to invert both the S and the R inputs. So let us check. We will notice that when S equals to 1 and R equals to 0, output is 1. Let us run and see. S1 R0 Yeah Output is 1 And if output is 1 Not output is supposed to be 0 So If S is 0 And R is 1 Output is 0 So S is 0 R is 1 We notice that output becomes 0 Then not 0 is 1 Then if S is 0 and R is 0, then output remains at its present state. That is, output does not change. So let us see. S0, R0. We notice that nothing has changed at the level of the output. Then, if S is 1 and R is 1, output is forbidden. Let us check what that means. So we will double S to 1 and R to 1. Output forbidden. So we will notice that output is 1. Then if output is 1, not output is supposed to be 0. But it is not 0. So this case is considered as a forbidden case. Because this one does not toggle as that one is 1. So we cannot use this to implement. We cannot use this circuit with this case as it is like this. To implement any electronic circuit if not it you have to cause some errors so thank you once more for watching my video please like share comment and subscribe thank you